Grey Maniacs gather! Hi folks! Hi Grey Maniacs, it's me, the Grey Man, with another one of my daily blogs. I hope you've all had a great amazing day so far, and uh, yeah, hope, you, uh, hope you're uh, doing well. Hope everything is fine and dandy, and super groovy. Nothing more, nothing finer than having a groovy time. I'm having a groovy time because I've got a package. It's not comic shape though. <laughs> but I know what it is. Well, it feels like there's something else in there as well. But it's the lovely people, that lovely um, Sharon Brown and Rena Brown, author. And uh, I saw Cade and uh, Kurt may be involved as well. Sent me a package. They sent me a package. I know what it is because we spoke about it. But it sounds like there's something else in there as well, so I should investigate. Oh, there's a little card. <laughs> Graham! What does it say? Thank you! Graham, thank you for all of your support and for having me on your show. Enjoy the book and shirt! I think there might be a book and shirt in here. <laughs> I thought it might be. I was going to send me a book actually. And that's saying Rena Brown, downtown Rena Brown. I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> why downtown? I don't know. It just rhymes. It just uh, it rhymes. Is there was a was there a, a, a movie somewhere to do like that? So I've got a shirt and a book. I didn't. I wasn't sure that the book always looked on the shelf that they say. I thought it would look, for some reason it was look bigger than that. <laughs> so oh, hey, I wonder what book it could be. <laughs> uh, War and Peace? No, it's gonna. It's got to be. Oh, I love the dark, hasn't it? And look, I've got an orange Datso shirt. Look at that lovely orange. Look at that monstrous Datso. You don't want to want to that blinking coming through your cat flap, would you? <laughs> that, that sounded ruder than it was meant to. But seriously, you wouldn't want that coming through your cat flap. But what a lovely orange. Orange is my favourite colour. Two XL. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Nice and comfortable anyway, nice and, nice, and, nice and loose, trust me, it'd be nice and loose. I'm a 1XL guy, I'm a, just an XL, just an XL, not a 2XL, but you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll grow into a 2XL, you never know. You're getting a bit, a bit fat on actually, You're getting a bit weighty again. Right, let's have a look, nice book, yeah, there we go. Isle of the Dark by Rena Brown, available online. Oh, there's a little picture of her on the back, look. A little picture of Rena Brown on the back. Isn't that professional looking? It's got a barcode and everything. <laughs> Isle of the Dark. A nation divided must come together when the Datso Plague begins. A race of monsters that are impossibly hard to kill. With a bite that turns any living creature into another Datso monster. Let's hold the Datso up so you can see a Datso. They all look different, of course, because it depends what animal they've uh, they've merged from, they've mutated from, magically you mutated from. Anyway, let's get back to this. Centuries after the plague begins, our tale follows Ranger, a guardian, who has protected his nation for decades. His services are legendary, his skills defeating Datsos unmatched. However, Ranger's world is suddenly turned upside down when he finds himself and his fellow guardians in a race against time as winter approaches, endangering their defences. With no way to warn the people quickly enough, they are faced with taking a shortcut through enemy territory to save countless lives. With time running out, our hero has to learn to set his beliefs and pass aside, putting his trust in a Datso, a creature of death, to ensure all of their survival. Will they make it in time as new challenges arise? Or will they succumb to the darkness that lies in the woods beyond the Datso borders? Ooh. And then there's a little um, biography for Arena. Uh, talking about, um, ooh, uh, ooh, mentions the channel. Okay, interesting. 
Oh no, they all die at the end. Oh. I shouldn't, have read the, I shouldn't have read the last page first. <laughs> Not really. I was joking. I, I didn't read it. I was just pretending. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. I Am of the Dark by Rena Brown. Of course, I did an interview with her as well on my channel. We had a good little chat. That person's got it. Oh, that must be the Datso. So it must be a humanoid Datso. I'm assuming that's a Datso because there's a guy there with horns on his head. And uh, a tail. So is that the Datso? I thought so. It's more of a humanoid Datso. So it retains some human. Um, I'm assuming some human characteristics. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You got different dates on there. It was one of the things we talked about is a calendar that she had to invent for um, after Datso plague. So, Fall Heart, the 67th of 222 DP, which means that's their plague, so after that's their plague. Right, let's show you some, some Titans comics, and then for the rest of the week, I'm going to wear my Datso shirt for my, uh, for my bloggy blogs. <laughs> show off that lovely warm orange and that monstrous Datso. The new Teen Titans, Raven Berserk. Taking out the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants there. Oh, uh, is it the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants? Or it's the Brotherhood of Evil, isn't it? Brotherhood of Evil Mutants is uh, uh, Marvel. And this is Thunder, Lightning. Doopy 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 doopy. Yeah, I remember buying this one from the corner shop around the corner from my dad's. So this is the one of the ones that I've had for a long time. 1983, so I was 13 when I bought this one. Oh, I, wish, I wish I'd bought more Blinking Superhero comics when I was a kid and got my dad to buy me some more. But uh, no, point, no point crying over unbought comics and spilt milk. But still, when I think of some of these guys in the comic community who was collecting as kids and getting... I imagine they got loaded more than as kids and got regular ones. Whereas I was just a comic here, a comic there kind of guy. Because I never had the the pocket money to to buy loads. And also I was buying UK comics as well. well I could have been concentrating on superhero comics. Oh, this is another one that I know that I bought when it came out. Because I remember this one. Well, Trident getting killed. Who killed Trident? Yep, that's what it says. I can't remember who killed him. But anyway. Trouble is spelled Terminator. Siege. The final fate of Thunder and Lightning. It's about making that in the in the Thunder there and be up in the background. It's a very rainy cover, this one. Get the Giffen Legion poster, another DC first. I wonder if the Giffen Legion poster is inside this comic. Who is Donna Troy? Hmm. It's got a uh, price label from a shop in New Cross. I think there used to be a comic shop in New Cross. Quality Comics. I'm pretty sure that's not there anymore. New Cross is near where my girlfriend lives. The new Teen Titans. It's quite a well known cover. They both tried to change their identities. He stops being Robin. Oh, he looks like Kid Flash. It's Kid Flash who stops. He starts to keep up being Kid Flash for a while, doesn't he? He wouldn't have a normal life. His name is Brother Blood.
Dick Grayson, destroy your partners now. The fate of brother blood. And then we've got the Tales of the Teen Titans, the Judas Contract. Number one, the eyes of Tara Markov. This is where they discovered that uh, Tedra was not such a good person after all. Uh, book two. And of course, the next one is the first appearance of the Nightwing costume. And I've got the back in bald variant. That's one of the ones I don't have yet. Boo hoo hoo. Right, this one, I'm pretty sure I got this from the shop when it, when it came out, actually. I'm pretty sure I bought this back in the day. I remember this. Poor Tula. I think Tula was dead. I believe she died. I mean, I don't think she was ever re-risen. Poor Tula. I could be mistaken, of course. Don't know who that woman is. Maybe one of the uh, Titans, the original Titans of mythology, maybe. Okay, or could she be the queen of the hive? Because this one talks about the end of the hive. Does the Is the hive led by someone called the queen? I don't know. Maybe she was the queen. I don't know, she looked too benevolent, though, to be a bad guy. <clears throat> Tales of the Teen Titans versus the Recombatants. Dr. Light is back. Who oh boy is he ever. We really should take these price labels off. Or give new bags and balls. Right, anniversary, 50th issue. This is where Donna Troy marries, um, what's his face, Terry. Something or other. The only name I can come with my pops in my head is Dobson for some reason. Terry Dobson. That's probably somebody else completely different. Um, oh yeah, it looks like it. Ah, uh, Queen, Queen Hippolyta. I like that was Queen Hippolyta. Or hip? No, it's not. It's not Queen Hippolyta. It looks a little bit like it, but no, it's not. No, she's got blonde hair here. That kind of red, white hair. Terry Dodds. I don't know what names in my head. Come on, where's the wedding? Where's the wedding? Where's the I now name you blah blah and blah blah. What is his name? Terence. Uh, I know the name of the husband and wife, but it doesn't say what his name is. Terence. I need to know now for my own brain. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. They're divorced now anyway. And I think their baby died. <laughs> so annoying. Come on, give me his bloody name. I've had so far I've had the name of other people whose names I'm not looking for. I've gone up given up caring now. La 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 Bloody annoying. Bloody annoying, I say. Bloody annoying. Come, it's a, it's a bloody wedding. If you can't go, must be a reason to mention his name. Oh, 
Oh great, gives her full name as part of the wedding service. Donna Hinkley Stacy Troy, place this ring on Terence's finger and proclaim your unity in the presence of this community. But it doesn't say what his name is. Ah, here we go. Terence Arthur Long. Terry Long was his name. I have no idea who Terry Dobson is. <laughs> I feel it might be someone from a band, actually, but I don't bloody know. Probably no one. Probably just invented it. Anyway, that was rather boring and, and annoying for you. Do apologise. Jericho, you're a traitor, just like Terra was. I'm not going to be made a fool of twice. At last, the secret of Jericho. Yeah, because Jericho is actually deaf... I can't remember his name now. Deaf, deaf stroke. Deaf stroke son. So, yeah... That would you could see why they would think he's not too good. All right, over list we've got Cheshire. The lady's name is Cheshire. It's not her first appearance, is it? Cheshire. She kind of should be a bigger character than she is, I reckon, but uh, she's not so tough. <laughs> but she ended up having a baby with um, Speedy or Arsenal or Red Arrow, whatever you want to call him. Uh, was the father. Um, he's dead now, isn't he, in DC Comics? They killed him off in that Heroes in Crisis, didn't they? Um, but I can't remember what his name is. Oh, man, Brain. Terry Long. <laughs> no, it's not Terry Long. <laughs> Terry Dobson. No, it's not Terry Dobson. Oh, man. Major character. I can't remember his name. That's so annoying. Have you gone funny? Is my screen gone blurry? I'm not too sure. Just my eyes, probably. My eyes are going blurry. Same as my brain is. Um, that's so annoying. I should, I should know... Speedy's blinking proper name. Easy. But it's just my brain is playing up today. Beginning this issue, the last days of Cyborg, plus the return of the Fearsome Five. I might have to sit here for like 10 minutes flicking through comic books to remind myself what his name is. Cyborg being turned back to a man? Against the fearsome five, tales of the Teen Titans. Cyborg no more. He's had a few changes over the years. Gets less robotic or more robotic. Or comes completely computerised or completely robotic. <laughs> Poor old Cyborg. This one has it all. The return of Cyborg. The end of the Fearsome Five. So who are the Fearsome Five? There's Simon. Uh, Gizmo. Is it Gizmo? Yeah, I think it's Gizmo. Mammoth, I think the guy's name is. The big guy. And his sister. What's his sister's name? Glimmer or Glitter or something like that? Shimmer, maybe? I'm not too sure who the other guy is. Or the other two people, actually. There's two. So one, two, three, four. I see six of them in this uh, iteration. Oh, is that um? Oh, the one that's in the um. Jinx, is it? Is that Jinx there? Because she was in in the T Titus show a lot, isn't she? But it looks like a different costume. I'm assuming that's Jinx because it looks like she's doing some kind of magic. And I don't know who the guy there looks a little bit, a little bit like Wildfire from the from the uh, the uh, Legion of Superheroes. Where is he? Not too sure who he is. This is it, readers, the story that started it all. Featuring the very first new Teen Titans. Oh, I can't see because there's a price label in the way. But I've got the original little story. That's in the uh, DC Showcase. No, no, DC Comics Presents. Um, it just happened to be one that I bought off the rack when it came out, which is nice. Because it's an uh, expensive comic now. That's, uh, there we go. Let's get rid of this label. Plus the rarely seen T-Titans Digest tale, guest starring Speedy and Aqualad. 
So basically, by the looks of it, they, they didn't have a story in time for this issue, so they put two reprints in it. But at least they actually admitted it on the cover. Normally, they just you wait until you open the story up, and then, then they let you know. <laughs> when you went to open a comic, got it home and start reading it, you, you find out it's just a, a reprint issue. Roy Harper. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brain. Thank you, Brain. You've kind of redeemed yourself slightly. <laughs> and here we go. D number 60. Oh, Roy Harper. Number 60. It's the last one for today. Teen Titans are going. Teen Titans go. And there's the fear filled return of Trigon. Do people say Trigon or Trigon? I feel I've always gone with Trigon. Hmm. Yeah. Because, um, why would it be try like in the num like in the to do with three? If it was something like quadron, because you've got four eyes, that may be, but tr I'm just going to go with Trigon. Trigon, Trigon, let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> anyway, cheers for watching, Grey Maniacs. I love you all. I love you all from the tops of your heads to the bottom of your toes. And uh, I'd do anything for you guys. You guys, you guys are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> You're the wind beneath my bottom. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say that. I, well, I said it, but I didn't mean it. Anyway, I'm out of here. And uh, I'm back tomorrow, though. Don't worry about that. I will be back tomorrow, barring some horrible catastrophe. Um, uh, but until tomorrow, I hope you all have an amazing day. And uh, may all your news be good news. Rena Brown, she wrote a book, why not go and give it a look, it is for sale, go buy one now, it's Isle of the Dark, <laughs> by Rena Brown. <laughs>